year, for the first time it had flown in Britain since 1940. It's one of several Lockheed 12s associated with Sydney Cotton. We also owned a number of them post-war. But what of that link to the Spitfire? Well, it was one flying officer, Morris Shorty Longbottom, who was already something of a specialist in aerial reconnaissance, who in August 1939 issued a memorandum advocating the use of suitably modified Spitfires for photo recce work. It predated similar recommendations by Sydney Cotton, who later came to fall out of favour with the RAF by some weeks. The first reconnaissance Spitfires were a pair of Mark 1s, modified with a downward-facing 5-inch F24 camera, and it was Longbottom himself who undertook their first sortie out of lille seclin on the 18th of November 1939. season. Paul Bonhomme was flying the Spitfire PR-11 from the Aircraft Restoration Company and what a treat that was. The reconnaissance pair, Lockheed 12A and Spitfire. 